the human population is right at, at 7 billion and it's projected to grow by one third by the year 2050. So by 2050, there will be nine or 10 billion people on this planet and they all have to eat. The class is called Insects and People and it's about how insects and human society interact and part of that is using insects as a source of food. So today we cooked some insects in class and ate some chocolate chip cricket cookies just to show the students that they can get over any cultural bias against eating insects. Ah, hear that fizzle. It's much more efficient to raise insects as a source of protein compared to things like cattle. There's less inputs as far as land, uh, fertilizers, and things like that. It's just the way we're raised. In colonial times, lobsters were considered trash. And you go to a restaurant today and see how much you pay for a, a nice fresh lobster. It's just a, our culture, we're raised on beef and we're raised on chicken. And in a lot of other countries around the world, eating insects is part of their culinary history and just part of their culture. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> their, their digestive tract would be empty. Well, I'm absolutely certain at some point in our life we will see packaged insect protein product that might imitate a nice ribeye.